Love is in the air, and also in the wild. That's not a cartoon, these are actual wolves who reside at the Wolf Conservation Center in Salem, New York. February is mating season for wolves, and there are some frisky partners that Reagan Downey, the director of education, is looking out for. Charlotte and Jack are a pair of endangered red wolves who've been together since last year. Charlotte was born at the center while Jack just arrived in 2017. The lovebirds welcomed their first litter of pups notice, last that's April. That's their den. Um, it's essentially a pipe that's been reinforced with rocks, uh, wood chips, so that's Jack walking right in front of it. That's the dad. He has a very distinct uh, face. It has a white muzzle, whereas uh, red wolves typically have um, kind of more of a brownish, reddish coloring to their coat. And he does have some red-tipped ears, but he's also much grayer uh, than people would expect. But he's the father of this family. The female in here um, is much smaller. She's very, very pretty. She has really dark maroon features, uh, and that's Charlotte. When a potential couple is introduced to each other, it's kind of like a blind date. The center puts them in an enclosure together, separated by a fence, so they can get to know each other first. But when we first introduced Jack and Charlotte to each other, Jack was living on one half of the enclosure, Charlotte was on the other half for about a week or so, so they could get used to seeing one another, smell each other, communicate as needed, but they couldn't physically interact. Uh, and things appeared to be going very well, so our curator simply opened the gates separating them, and they've been living together since. Wolves show affection, just like many other creatures, and when they're in love, they often don't leave their partner's side. So we do look for something called parallel walking, which um, is exactly as it sounds. It's wolves walking next to each other. Um, we also look for um, tandem urination, so are they urinating in the exact same spot? Um, sometimes we'll see the male mount the female or try to, and she's not receptive to it yet, so she'll kind of fight him off. When it's time to mate, the wolves are ready to get it on. But then as the peak of breeding season approaches. So as the female's ovulation is peaking, um, we start to notice a few things. One thing is that her vulva will swell. She will also move her tail to one side for easier access. She'll be receptive to um, mounting and pelvic thrusting as well. Um, and so those are all good signs. And then of course the mating tie is the ultimate thing we look for. The tie seals the deal. The couple stays embraced for about a half hour to ensure success. The rest of the year, as we all know, isn't as hot and heavy. And then throughout the rest of the year, they do have contact with each other, not in terms of any breeding contact, but they'll sleep next to each other. They might touch noses, still walk next to each other. About two months later, the pups arrive, and mom and dad work together to raise their family. Red wolves have very strong family values. I'm Marina Koff, WFEV News.